Hello and welcome everyone, this is Kalabovic coming to you with the recap of Day 9 of the Sweet 18's tournament for Raid Shadow Legends. Without further ad much further ado, let's jump into the uh, feeding trough, uh, sorry, uh, hard 12-3 level and see how Kale is doing with uh, leveling up some food. So Mr. Turnip needs to farm up some things that he can eat. Um, well, that makes him into a cannibal, but he's not. Anyway, uh, yes, I'm grinding foods to try to rank up Kale from uh, from five stars to six stars. And that is usually taking a lot of time. Getting that first champion from 50 to 60, or at least to six star, takes a lot of sacrifice. And in this case, one of these sacrifices is going to be Elhain. I thought, no, I will not be using her anymore. So I got her from uh, four star level 40 up to five stars so I could feed her uh, and uh, a chicken and three uncommons to Kale. Uh, then I ascended him up to the last stage as well and that huge boost of getting crit base crit damage from 50 to 57 percent is really something. Each percentage point does count in the overall damage scheme. Now what I also can do right now is get his level 6 mastery, but before I do that, do that, I am going to upgrade his necklace, his crit damage necklace, from 15 to 16. That was a small blunder, actually, because I forgot I soon will have a mission uh, to level an item uh, to 16. But fortunately, I just came out of it by leveling something else up to 16. Fortunately, I am having good rolls and... I do have some silver saved up. I mean, 1.5 million is not as much as you would think as getting, uh, for example, a 5-star item from level 12 to level 16 costs on average 1.2 million silver. Also, when it comes to level 6 masteries, I was uh, trying to see what uh, which ones from the offense and support tree are available to me, but in the end, I went with the usual war master, uh, dealing much more damage to uh, dungeon bosses and to the clan boss. Now, for the next leg of journey on day 9, it was grinding the spirit keep, because one of because my then current mission was to get a ton of potions of green potions from this keep and as you might know or might have uh, or, or had come across unfortunately grinding potions for missions is really random and usually you are not getting the ones you need and that it usually takes much more time than you would otherwise think now now that Kale and Miscreated are 6-star and Coldheart and Reliquary Tender are 5-star, and I do not have that much food available for me, what was left for me to do at this juncture was to grind gear. And Dragon Dungeons are where you want to be at because they have the three basic gear types that you need in the early and mid game, and that is accuracy, speed, and lifesteal. The biggest dilemma for me was whether to farm stage 11 or stage 12 of the dragon, because stage 11 costs 12 energy and stage 12 costs 14 energy. Obviously, on stage on the higher stage, you have higher percentage chances of getting higher rank gear. But is that worth the extra two energy? And that was my question, and I was pondering it throughout the stream. Also, uh, there is a fact of how much real time does it take. In the end, uh, it was 1 minute and 5 seconds versus 1 minute and 14 seconds uh, lower and higher level for me, so that was not a huge difference. And in the end, uh, I started with grinding some of level 11, then shifted to level 12, and I'm still not sure what the correct answer to that question is. Another huge deal that happened on day 9 was me re-gearing Coldheart. She was running in the new metagame, as someone said on the stream, Relentless set, uh, Coldheart in a Relentless set, but I thought she would do much better with some gear that is better than just 3 star, so I took that all out. Fortunately, I did have enough more lifesteal gear to equip her with, 
and I combine that with uh, with a couple of other things and now you will see uh, quietly a bit sped up but the process of re-gearing cold heart so me looking through all the available options uh, attack chest plate etc so yeah let's remove all these items 10k a piece sure I can still do it uh, two offense uh, items to get 15% more attack and uh, getting her uh, getting her those cute uh, five star speed boots uh, getting her a really nice epic uh, epic weapon with more speed and more attack percentage attack percentage chest uh, that is something really necessary for attacking champions and I do not care about the substats right now this is not the stage of the game where i uh where i need to have the correct substats on everything i need to get her crit rates up to up to where it needs to be and right here i also need to sell some items to to level her up further um uh, but yes all of that needs to be happening uh just got some more silver so i can get her uh, her weapon up to 12 as well and there you go this is going to be the final iteration uh, current iteration of level 50 cold heart uh, 2k attack 141 speed 81% uh, crit rate 72% crit damage that is on the lower side almost no accuracy for her heart seeker but that is what I I mean come on guys this is this is day nine this is not that deep into the tournament still anyway that was a lot of things happening but that this is going to be it for the recap of day nine for the raid shadow legend sweet 18th tournament and remember if you are enjoying the show and this tournament and my talk through of this tournament and my activities uh, in it remember to subscribe the channel and thank you hopefully see you next time kalebovich out